It's not my fault You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Nah, I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is China If you are new and if you're not, thank you so much for coming back So, um, basically I told you guys that I wanted to start doing a series basically on becoming a better version or my best version of myself and yourself so I just want to kind of throw out some tips and kind of do it different each time so um make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and let me know what some of you guys tips or things that you do to become the best version of yourself so you guys know that I write everything inside of my tablet so I just want to go ahead and jump right into it. So, um, and also I'm just speaking from my own mistakes. So yeah, you live and you learn and I'm just really just throwing ideas out there from my own mistakes. <laughs> so um, the first thing that I can say, I feel like as a black woman, we have to stop settling for crumbs. And what I mean by that is we shouldn't settle. We know what we deserve and we know what we have worked so hard for. We shouldn't just settle just for anything or any man or any person, any friendship just because. Settle for people that's on your level. I honestly feel as a woman and as a black woman, I only want to be with or be around someone who's doing better than me or equal because how can I grow and how can I continue to grow? You will learn from me, but I won't be able to learn from you. So even getting in a relationship, I do not ever want to settle for crumbs again because I know that I'm worth so much more. And me as a woman bring more to the table than you as a man bringing to the table is not going to work. So let's as a whole, as a black community, let's stop settling for crumbs just because. The next thing is finding a therapist. Mental health is so important. When I, I went to a therapist and it helped me get out of one of my relationships because we need to talk it out and we can't put it all on our friends, our family, everyone. And then you have to look at what if you take this individual back or what if you take this friendship back and now your friends or family will be looking at you and that individual like they're crazy because of you told them so much because mental health is so important we go through stuff we grow through stuff and it is extremely hard we cannot just tell someone every day okay just go to the gym just get up and do this just leave them just leave her we can't because that person has to be willing and wanting to do those things we can't just say, okay, you're depressed, get up. It don't work like that. Mental health is so important. Obviously, I'm trying to get up and I can't get up. Just like I've told you guys a couple of times that I have just been feeling so down lately. Not lately as of now because I have been great. But before, I was just feeling so down. I had no idea why. And I would tell myself, get up, get up. I could not get up. I could not force myself to get in the gym. It was hard for me being a mother because every day I still have no choice but to be a mother even when I am feeling down, when I'm feeling my best, every single day. So it was extremely hard and that's when I realized, okay, mental health is so important. My mental health and your mental health is so important. If you don't take those steps to talk it out, sometimes we need to just talk it out. And I'm going to piggyback on that. Um, get you a notebook, write out how your day was. You can go back and look and read some. So I have my notebook right here and it's plan, pause, reflect, and flourish. And I write in this notebook, not every day because I want to save some pages, but if I'm feeling really good, I write in my notebook. If I'm feeling really sad, I write in my notebook. If I'm just having an okay day, I'm not going to write in my notebook. I'm going to read, I'm not going to read any pages, but I'm going to read basically at the bottom of my notebook it says 
one word to lead my day. So I'm going to skim past a couple of pages to let you guys know from the start, when I started this in January 1st, 2022, and I will read just a few of them just to show you guys. So um, at the bottom, I'm only going to read the one word to lead my day. And the first word I put is strength. The next time I put lead. The next time I put strength. The next time I put learn. The next time strive. The next time is strength. The next time is work. The next time is motivation. The next time is freedom. The next one was better. The next one was leader. The next one was grateful. The next one is unstoppable. The next one is leader. And the, the next one, the last one I'm going to say is soft. So those were the words that I put myself to lead my day after I wrote out everything, how I was feeling, how my day was. If I, if I was feeling, it asked you like, were you grateful? Were you calm? Were you, were you motivated? Thoughts for today? Like it asks you these things that we as people want people or our parents or just whoever to ask us or our husband, our spouse. We want them to ask us these things, but it's not up to them. It's up to us to love on ourselves enough to we can ask ourselves these things. Um, so I feel like this is super important. I don't even know where I got this from. Um, oh, I was gifted with this, actually. So uh I will always have one of these because this helps me and I feel like when I go back five years from now and read this because I read one and I will read a page for you guys but this is really intimate but I read stuff I'm gonna read this one okay I'm not gonna read all of it but when I go back just the fact that when I go back five years from now ten years from now seeing how I was feeling deep inside means everything thing so this one says my daily affirmation. I will, I am, I will, I can. So the first, I'm just going to read a little bit. It says, I am a woman. I will do better in life for myself and children. I can achieve my goals and work smarter, not harder. I keep getting emotional because I can feel God will take me places I've always wanted and dreamed of because I deserve. As long as I stay single and work on me, baby, the Lord will take over. Thank you. It's time I help myself. I'm always helping others. If I get rid of all the people that don't mean me any good because I'm blocking my blessings, the Lord will bless and bless me the way I want. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So this is just some stuff that I wrote, but it, it's basically a lot of stuff in this book. Like when I tell you this will help you out so much. So this is what the blank page look like. And this is not sponsored whatsoever or nothing. But I'm just trying to like really help you guys. And this is what I mean by like it has so much stuff. And you could just write out how you're feeling. And it will literally help you. It helps me when I write this out and I'm going through something, baby. This book has helped me. Okay. So let's move on. <laughs> so the next thing I put is be willing to learn. And go to classes. So I feel like they have so many. They have meet up. They have so many different groups. And so much stuff online on Google that you could just learn. A book. You could just take it day by day. Step one. Get out there and try. You know what I mean? Like be willing to learn. Be around people that you can learn from. But you can also teach as well. No matter who you are, you can always learn more and something new and it will help you get to the next level and get to being the best you that you could be so the next thing i put is be self-aware knowing you're wrong apologize knowing when you are the problem i feel like that's very important i feel like sometimes people will make make it seem like it's just all you and or if you know that you are so toxic and you know that you are wrong and you know that you're not going to apologize. I've seen a meme and it says when you know that you're wrong, but it's already too late. You're not going to apologize. No, it's nothing wrong with big, being the bigger person. So the next thing I put is get organized, clean up every day. I got out of the bed. I did not jump back into it. I made my bed and then I 
was able I got up early so I can make my bed and and do for myself before it's time for me to do for my kids because how can I do for them and then I will have to sit them by their self while I get myself together no so what I do is I get up a little earlier about 20 minutes earlier than the kids so I can be able to focus on myself and my needs get in the shower if I need to because guess what at nighttime I made sure that they had their bath time and their time and I did everything for them so and y'all know like I told you guys I put the kids clothes out at night I mean I put the kids clothes out for the whole week so that's one less thing that I have to worry about so that makes my life and job much easier because being a parent you have no choice choice but to find easier options you have no choice because you don't want to make it harder on you and your children and being late does not look good so I made sure to I just like to make stuff easier for me and as far as cleaning my room look amazing when I walk through this door and it smells amazing it's looking amazing that makes me feel much better so clean up as you go for instance I did my makeup and I did my hair in my bathroom what did I do I cleaned up behind myself so none of that stuff when I go back in my bathroom none of that stuff is still there when you cook clean up as you cook so it can make your life much easier that way when it's time to deep clean the next thing is say no so I got invited to a dinner but I knew that it would not be the type of crowd that I would want to be around so I declined so this week that just passed I got invited to a very special dinner and I wanted to go I wanted to be there but also at the same time I know that how I'm working on myself I knew that it will bring me back to basically my old ways you know what I mean like my old the old me that I'm trying to reinvent myself so I don't want to be around anything or anybody that brings me back to my old self which now my old self is a bad person because I'm definitely not but as far as my dancing days the club scenes the just all of that I cannot afford to go back to my old life you know what I mean so I am pushing and striving for better for myself and my children the next thing is go on a solo trip spend more time with yourself and you will get to know yourself baby y'all know that I went to that solo trip on a cruise even though I slept <laughs> so much of the time I love being by myself you challenge yourself I got on a flight by myself I did everything by myself and I just basically challenged myself and it was amazing when you love yourself you would not allow certain things and I feel like just spending how I'm able to right now spend time with myself before it's time for me to get my children I'm loving on myself and I'm becoming a better mother and a better person for them but mothers also still need that alone time and wives still need that alone time girlfriends still need that alone time even if you are in a relationship go to the gym by yourself go you can go out of town by yourself <laughs> you can you need to still create your own life your life should not revolve around just your children and your spouse you have to get out there and you have to have friends it's nothing wrong with that like go get your own go get a massage by yourself Create your own life and I can guarantee you, you will be better for your husband and your children. I can guarantee you will be better for them. So, and I'm not saying to, oh, every week or every day you need to be by yourself. No, I'm not saying that, but also like in the morning, like I told you guys, I wake up 20 minutes so I could take my time because all of their stuff is already set aside and done. So I need to take the time to get myself together because I like to throw on a little makeup or fix my hair or get in the shower to wake me up. All of that. So so those are the couple of things that I just wanted to share. Um, I told you guys this will be a series. So I will be posting up a video every Monday and um, just giving you guys some advice. And it just won't be just these sit down videos. It'll also be 
maybe me getting myself together for a solo day and us chit chat and just all of that but let me know if it's some things that you guys are working on on becoming the best version of yourself um and everything happens for a reason i'm so big on out I, I always say that everything happens for a reason and hard times happens and it happens for a season and you have to pick yourself back up and keep going it it sometimes it's extremely hard you guys i share sometimes when i'm having a rough day and sometimes i have no idea why my day is rough i have no idea because i feel like i put so much into myself so why am i having a hard day everyone will go through having tough days but we have to keep going we cannot give up we cannot give up on ourselves we cannot give up on our children we cannot give up on life and it will get better we also have to work towards what we want we can't just lay around and say Oh, I want a mansion, but I'm going to lay around in bed all day. And I feel like that was my thing. I would constantly say, oh, I want YouTube to basically, I want to start getting really paid off of my YouTube channel. But I feel like I was not putting in the work that, I'm, that I was supposed to be putting in. And lately I have been putting in so much work. Y'all don't even know that today, like I started off recording this video with my other camera. It kept making like a ticking sound. So I tried, it took me about an hour and it was not working. So I had to end up recording on my vlogging camera. But I told myself by any means necessary, I'm going to get a video up. I have been putting in a lot more work than I was before. Sometimes before I was just putting up a vlog and it'd be like, okay, no, I see now that I must put up more than just a vlog. When I put up stuff that's more than just a vlog, that's where all of my audience come from maybe a sit down video that I've done or any of that. And after I'm done working, then I can lay in the bed or I haven't even ate yet. I haven't even ate yet. It's 108. And like I said, I told myself before I be before I lay in the bed or do anything, all my work need to be finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited about this series and um we're going to do more than just a series. So I don't want to talk you guys to death because y'all know that I will. I love you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys for watching it. And I am excited about this journey because we are leveling up and we are becoming the best versions of ourselves. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me peace. Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong you lost your mind when you drop